Hey, welcome to FBC Fantasy Football Recap. We're coming to you with a recap of week one from FBC League Three. League Three Commissioner Justin Anderson joining us right now. Uh, Justin, what were some of the top storylines that caught your eye in week one as you look through your league? Well, I just want to say shout out to all the teams. It's first week. Yep. So right after the draft, you're seeing who's good. You're seeing who's not good. You're seeing who to put in. So I think everybody did pretty good this week. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, One story was really cool. John was projected to lose by like 15 points. Came back, won by 15 against Gabe. Crazy. Good job, John. Um, Good job to all the teams this week. And Team Go Pack Go got the win over me. It was pretty close and he just pulled the way, so good. Uh, Same with DJ and Sam, pretty close, pulled away. And uh, Christian had the win from the start. So good job. And just er good job to everybody this week. And hope to have a great rest of the season. And just hope for this next week to be super fun. And now that we know which players to put in and which players not to put in, just even better. What do you think, Dad? Well, here my question was, who is the presumptive favorite coming into this season right now in your league? I see this gotcha again times three. Uh, is that is that one of the guys that's kind of heading the uh, front runners? He's the incumbent for. Uh, yes, for this it, that league? that that's 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 Sam Moyer. Um, he's won two years in a row now. He's had a pretty good team both years, yep. and yep. he looks pretty pretty solid coming into this season. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm playing him this week, and it's going to be mm-hmm. tough. I think Christian has a really good chance too. Yep. He's a pretty good team. Yeah. I mean, we only have eight teams, so they're all pretty good. But I yeah. think Sam and Christian are going to be the two favorites as of right now. That could change, but as of right now. Lots of parity across the league. It's week one. It's anybody's ball game, as Bill Belichick yes. likes to say. On to week two. On to week two, right? Hmm. Yeah. What were you going to yes. say? Yes, on to week two. Hello, and welcome to week one update of fantasy football. I know you're all excited to hear about what's going on in all of the leagues, but here's what's going on in the league that I'm commissioning. There are 10 teams, and I can tell you all those teams. There's Hooked on the Thielen. There is no COVID zone. There is breakfast burritos. There's Let's Not Quarantine. There's Flash Gordon. There's Mountain Movers. There's Tomboy in a Dress. There's Team Mapson. There's Team Hoagie. And there's Team Parish. With all those teams going into week one, I can tell you it was an exciting week. We had lots of winners and lots of losers. So not everybody's gonna get a trophy. So winners this week were Hooked on a Feeling, No COVID Zone, Mountain Movers, Mountain Movers, Tomboy in a Dress, and Team Mapson. So for all of those that are paying attention, you'll know that who the losers were. And just for your just for your fun fun ideas and wanting to know what's going on and what's going down in this league. There's this thing that ESPN does, and there's there's things that are trending up and trending down. So, the teams that are trending up are no COVID zone, Mountain Movers, and Team Parish. And unfortunately, teams that are trending down are Flash Quarantine, sorry, Flash Gordon, Let's Not Quarantine, and Town Boy in Address. And... We can't predict what is going to happen with injuries and whatnot, but ESPN thinks they can. And in this league, they've picked me to win it all. So there you go. I'm calling you out. But to be honest, I am really scared of Mount Movers. They have a stellar team. So 
Here's looking forward to seeing you all hopefully on Sunday. Um, God bless and have a good night. Yep, yep. And we're back in five, four, four three, two, one. To you, Justin. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to week one of Fantasy Football Recap. I'm here with Jake, the commissioner for League Two. And Jake, what are your thoughts on this week, uh, how everything went? Just a lot of offense. Uh, some teams putting out uh, just a tremendous amount of points. You wonder if there was any defense in some of those games. For example, uh, right here, Buck and Broncos, uh, Drew Parrish with a tremendous amount of offense, uh, beating Cooking with the Cousins, Cook in with the Cousins, which is uh, Josh and myself. Um, we've got a little uh, computer code in error, 404 arrow not found, which ended up to be a, a good battle as well against the Parrish Huskies. And uh, Lambo Leap. Uh, just in a squeaker over team halftime. And uh, Bullpower Anderson um, with a, a pretty decisive win over the Baxter Cooks. Uh, it's really anybody's ball game at this, at this point in the season. There's just there's a lot of parity. Uh, it could go anywhere from here. Really looking forward to week two. Wow. Yeah, thanks for that input, Jake. Yeah, a lot of good matchups this week. And... Good luck to everybody second week, and thank you for joining us on Fantasy Football Week 1 Recap. On to Week 2.